Welcome to the Pomerol Partners Sales Management Application for the Pharmaceutical Industry. This application was driven by the need to collate, cleanse and visualise a chaotic data environment that was hindering the ability to monitor and manage sales performance. Developed on site with a Tier 1 Pharma client, we established early on that significant time was being spent generating dozens of individual Excel reports. This style of report generation was leading to data silos on people's desktops, inconsistencies in reporting, and it was destroying the credibility of the data. The second key business challenge was the inability to merge all these data sources and reports so that all the key measures of sales performance could be seen on one clear and transparent platform. In providing a solution, we've leveraged two powerful aspects of ClickView. The first is the robust ETL functionality, allowing us to cleanse and merge a huge range of disparate data sources. The second is ClickView's in-memory data storage, which compresses the whole data set and allows it to be sliced and diced on request, revealing insights and relationships at the pace of business. So let's jump into the main dashboard and see why the world's best pharmaceutical companies are partnering with Pomerol. This is the main dashboard tab and offers a full overview of our reporting environment. We've embraced a website inspired user interface with our pages and key selections along the top and hierarchical selections within pop-outs on the left margin. This allows more screen space for data visualization as well as being a familiar and intuitive format that drives user engagement. The associative nature of ClickView means that we can make any selection on this page and the full underlying data set will filter into related and unrelated values. Within a few clicks, we can instantly see data associated and not associated to these selections. This basic but key functionality of ClickView reveals relationships and dependencies that simply cannot be seen in a static reporting environment. We now need to select a time period for analysis, and this brings us to the dual calendar setup. The current calendar allows the user to select a date or time period to drive the KPIs and filter the data set. The prior calendar below allows us to select a date for comparison and drives our delta changes next to the KPIs. We could select a month-on-month -month comparison. There may have been a similar promotion running during these two months, and so we may want to isolate them for a direct comparison. Likewise, we could select quarter one versus quarter two. The dashboard follows a naturally hierarchical flow from top to bottom, and the business users have identified six KPIs that are the key indicators of performance. We have numerous data sources converging to drive these KPIs. Finance data is extracted directly from the SAP database. We have business supplied sales targets that are mapped in at a sales rep level. Market share information is supplied by IMS and comes in at an NHS trust level. We also have patients data from within individual accounts as well as a full spectrum of activity data being pulled directly from the Viva CRM system. The chart below paints a picture of the trend directly related to the selected KPI. Below the main chart is where we start to get into more detail. We have the top five sales reps from Ellen's team ranked on change in revenue. Now we can begin to see the real drivers of the movement we've seen in the KPIs. Dorothy has clearly outperformed her colleagues through the second quarter. We can drill further by selecting Dorothy and instantly see which accounts are driving the sales growth, while also highlighting the accounts that have seen a reduction in sales. Ellen can make a distinct action here to query Dorothy about what's happening with the Essex County Hospital account. We can quickly jump back out from the selection and Ellen can once again scan through his team and visualize who the high performers are. Eric has also seen solid growth over quarter one to quarter two. But let's take a closer look at Eric's accounts and see what's driving this change. We can see large growth at the Spire Island Hospital, but what about the BMI Caldew account? It's a reasonable size account and has seen a drop in sales against the trend for this period. We can instantly see that Eric has had no contact with this account in quarter two. A clear actionable insight for Alan to chase up his sales rep and put a plan in place to better look after this account. To investigate these trends even further, we can refer to an animated scatter chart that quickly and clearly lets us visualize the relationship between our key performance metrics over a set period of time. To analyze sales effort versus reward, we can look at the relationship between revenue and the effort made to generate this revenue. 
we can see Oliver's contact rate surge and then after an expected lag, a gradual rise in sales. Eric's contact rate has also increased, but we see no resulting boost to sales. With meetings and sales calls being a significant expense to the business, return on investment here is crucial. Establishing the effectiveness of sales meetings and calls is crucial to driving performance and the efficiency of future interactions. With the power of ClickView, we have effectively thrown a blanket over all of the business's data sources and brought them to the fore in a cohesive platform. With the ability to drill in and out in just a few clicks, we now have a dynamic range of KPIs that can be cut by any dimension, offering a true insight into the business. It's this agility and flexibility that eliminates heavy report building in Excel and frees up time for real analytics, allowing the insights to flow. So that's Sales Performance Management by Pomerol Partners. For more information or to request an on-site demo, click through the provided link to our website or follow the link direct to the ClickMarket where you can test drive and interact with this application for yourself.